guys it's quickly again with another rom review and this time i've got resurrection remix rom for galaxy s3 now um resurrection remix was a rom previously it was based in 4.2.2 that was the final version of that and now it has moved on to kitkat which is awesome now this one incorporated various designs from cyanogen mod and omni and also uh, previous re remix roms that is previous resurrection rom so that's pretty cool now let's get into the rom first of all we have the lock screen which is uh, normal uh, cyanogen mod or aosp lock screen so let's get into the launcher it comes with two launchers first one is this one which is lova launcher we also have um, the experience launcher which is pretty cool so we have that now let's first of all let's tone down the brightness okay now let's go to settings to see what all the options now first of all in the above front page you can see it is based on 4.4.2 which is the latest KitKat uh, Android OS out there which is pretty cool uh, it is fast it's really fast uh, the later like I'm uh, saying about the current CM and Omni ROMs are really fast and there is no much use or uh, no much reason to stay on a 4.3 ROM yet now so we can uh, actually move forward to 4.4 ROMs for a really great experience pretty cool now you can see this is an incremental I don't know what he means by that what the developer means by it it's actually supposed to be a number the last version was I guess 4.0.7 uh, and this one it says incremental resurrection version incremental so I'm not sure what uh, what is meant by that but pretty cool uh, the ROM is cool I don't have to, uh, much to do with the name right now let's see what all are the extra settings we get uh, in the in this section we can see personalization settings which are resurrection tools these are the extra that is the uh, spare parts in the thematics kind of thing so you have all the uh, different settings here you have basic tools first of all you have a resurrection remix about it this is kind of like the uh, symbol for resurrection remix i'll show you guys the boot animation later uh, share rom you can go to each places from here pretty cool now let's see other options now we have basic tools under basic tool we have user interface which is ui elements status bar you have ability to change battery icon something which i liked is the battery battery uh, landscape which changes the orientation of the battery you can see that right it's not slipping down so that's pretty cool you have a um, percentage enabler so you can select percentage or not quick setting panel again cm feature we have uh, all the cm features of that you can select each tile and uh, you can select what all are there there is no cm style uh, the tile style selection so well, that's something of a trade off when you're using a cm based rom right so yeah these are the options now let's go to notification drawer notification drawer you have auto clause behavior and quick access uh, ribbons in here which is this one you can have it linked to the quick setting panel or you can have your own uh, tiles so that you can use it as a power widget so that's pretty cool let's move on let's go back to other settings we have hardware button remapping so you can have remapping for all the hardware buttons that's pretty cool uh, it's available the uh, setting is also available in and mod roms but hey it is here it's pretty cool you might have noticed the uh, animation is reminiscent of the 4.2.2 uh, that's pretty cool actually for those who like I'm not sure it's, if it's 4.2 or 4.3 uh, those who like this kind of animation like this is more um, what to say it's more flashy than the 4.4 animation the 4.4 animations are kind of not that much of a spectacle to see so that's pretty cool now uh, in the checkbox spawn that is uh, option having all the checkboxes so you have a status bar and notification you have all these settings brightness control even so you do have that option pretty cool I use this most of the time uh, lock screen blur is something which I really appreciate because there is see-through lock screen available but it's not blurred it's just as plain see-through and if you have a heavy text 
in your lock screen or wherever you were uh, it kind of interferes with the lock screen information like the clock and etc but this one is a blurred lock screen see-through so that's pretty cool I really appreciate that it's not just a uh, tint it's blurred so you can see the underneath text are blurred if you have any kind of liking to it I really like it so it's pretty cool uh, headset launches voice etc uh, what else lock screen is what I mentioned uh, well this one is the standard cyanogen mod lock screen package you have all the options here that's it pretty cool uh, C clock is the Cronus clock widget from cyanogen mod you do have that in the lock screen so you can use that so I that is it you have change log and uh, yeah the latest version was the last version was 4.0.7 I wasn't wrong about that yes it was 4.2.2 the latest and things it has been moved to KitKat and yeah that's the change log I'm not sure the latest incremental change log has not been included I don't know you do have an update thing so you can uh, select update you can update from the ROM OTA over the air so you don't have to uh, download the full package maybe you have to full download the full package but you can do it with single click so that's pretty cool now we have theme chooser uh, to use various themes if you like that home launcher again uh, you can select what home you want to use uh, you can use select that okay performance settings are same as cyanogen mod you have all these options uh, few options I'm not saying that there are all the options uh, for the AOKP performance settings is much much higher it's pretty cool now yeah that much is it in these settings what this ROM is it's kind of like uh, I guess the previous versions had a lot of options like in the program and uh, BAM series ROM so uh, this have to get to that point so that we can really really have a lot of features so as I was saying this really feels like a fast ROM this is truly something which you can use if you want CM official styled ROM with a bit more functionality but you don't want everything which the other things give you like the massive one it has halo it has uh, active display it has a lot of things if you don't want all that this could really be something for you uh, I'll include the benchmark scores in the uh, written text here somewhere uh, but yeah I have to do that I haven't uh, installed anti to benchmarks but I guess it would be better than the other um, kind of 4.3 ROM so yeah so I guess that much is it let me show you guys the boot animation which is awesome so here is the boot animation which is really awesome I really like that uh, kind of effects and things which uh, <laughs> which is shown uh, boot animations are not something which you show off to anyone it's something subtle which is for you uh, it's kind of a package for you and when a boot animation is made perfectly it means that the developer cares for the user so that's pretty cool so I guess that much is it about the ROM uh, hope you guys liked the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful and see you guys next time bye